Good morning, Mountain Movers family. We are so glad that you joined us this morning as we kick off our fasting week for Passion Week. When we look at the events that took place on this day in the timeline of Passion Week, one of the major events that took place during today's time frame was that Jesus went to the temple. Now, the temple was supposed to be a holy place of prayer and worship. And when Jesus arrived, though, he was really disappointed in what the culture had allowed it to become. There were traders and market people buying and selling. It wasn't a sacred place of worship at all. Jesus flipped the tables and chairs in the temple, and he told the people, It is written that my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. I really think that if you would have asked each of the leaders, I don't think that they would have said that they intentionally let it happen, that they purposely let the temple become something that it wasn't intended for. But they certainly weren't intentional about making sure that it didn't happen. We know this because it wasn't the first time that Jesus had addressed this. See, this is something that he had addressed at the beginning of his public ministry, and now as he was preparing to end his ministry on earth, it was happening again. So what does that teach us? It teaches us that we have to be intentional about keeping God's presence our priority in the place of worship. It is not something that our culture will accommodate easily and will naturally happen in the world that's so infected with sin. It is something that we have to be intentional about. Each and every seat here and zone here at Mount Movers Church is prayed over. The sanctuary is filled with worship uh, to Jesus. And as we invite his presence in, it is not something that happens accidentally, but something that is vital for us to help reach the lost and hurting for Jesus. Yeah. I couldn't help but wonder when I was reading through, how could I make it more personal to me though? And I thought to myself, what would Jesus's reaction be if he entered our home? Would he know that we make our home a place of prayer, a place where you invite Jesus's presence? Is your home a holy place where God is the center of your daily comings and goings? I pray that you would feel even more challenged to be intentional about inviting the presence of God to fill your home that you would be able to ask Jesus to guide your day as well as your decisions. And we hope that you continue on this journey through Passion Week with us. We would also like to invite you to join us Easter Sunday at 9.30 here on campus and online, and as well as 11 o'clock here on campus as we have our finale to our Easter service. We can't wait to see you guys there.